Now, my mom worked hard to support kids. She worked three jobs. I mean, she busted her tail and she was faithful, worked really hard. Now, I remember years ago, I was talking to my mom about the white knuckle grip that she had on the wheel, holding on for dear life. Here's my mom. And the, the worry, because she had to hold it all together, the worry and the fear of letting go was so bad that it was hard for me to communicate. So God did it for her. I remember, I was on the phone, I was talking to her. I just did the Sid Roth show, and I was talking to her on the phone. I was down in Georgia, and my mom was going through something at work, and it was, uh, there, were people, there were people coming in, if I remember correctly, there were people coming in to take positions, and you had to train people that were gonna work you out of a job. It's pretty close to that. And, and she was having trouble training the person that was gonna take her job. I get it. I didn't side with mom and didn't side with them. I said, mom, you just need to let go. What do you mean let go? I remember our phone call. I'm like, mom, God's coming. On the phone, I said, God's coming. She goes, whoa, whoa, what's happening? I went, oh, here's what it is. Here's what we need to do as a family, encounter Jesus. What happened? That day, my mom encountered Jesus through yelps and screams. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, honey, I gotta go. I love you, mom. I gotta go. No, don't, no, don't hang up. Oh, oh, oh. And I hung up and God went and plastered my mom. That was the best day ever. I'm not kidding. It was life changing. If we don't encounter him, we don't have anything. You can't just tell people about a Jesus that you think you believe in. You can't just tell Jesus, you can't tell people about this God that you think exists. You need to experience him. You need to experience him, not just once in a while, on a daily basis. Give us this day our daily bread. Isn't just read the Bible, do devotions, shut your Bible, walk away and say that was a good read. Experience Jesus isn't, okay, I'm going to read. Uh, let's see, what do I want to read today? Mm, that's Second Corinthians. Okay. Okay. All right. Lord be with me. Amen. That's not experience Jesus. That's not intimacy. That's right. Experience Jesus is waking up and being conscious. Being conscious and being aware that he is with you. And he'll never leave you. Fear is the absence of your encountering Jesus. <laughs> I'm not going to ask how many people were afraid this week. I'm not. But what would it be like for you to never be afraid again? What would it be like for you to wake up and be like, oh my gosh, Lord, you're with me. I love you so much. Thank you. Thanks for being with me today. God, thank you. And like you... Not having to have something bad happen to cry. <laughs> I spend a lot of my life crying. Why? Because of thankfulness. Why am I thankful? Not just because he gives me stuff. That's not good. Thankfulness is because he'll never leave me. He'll never forsake me. He will always be here. And he's as close as the mention of his name. My Bible and your Bible says, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. It's in James. 